This year's Concordia Invitational Tournament was held in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It was nothing short of exciting. The Concordia Cougars brought a good number of supporters to cheer them on during the tournament, as well as the Cougar Band, the Concordia Dazzlers, and Charlie T. Cougar. The band and fans throughout did everything they could to keep rivaling the noise from other schools, creating an exciting atmosphere for all who participated and attended. CIT is a celebration of um, the Concordia system and uh, the schools that are involved in this basketball bonanza are Concordia University Chicago, Concordia University Wisconsin out of Mequon, Concordia University Nebraska Seward, and Concordia University Ann Arbor, Michigan. The atmosphere at CIT is electric. The bands, the dance team, the administration, the uh, excitement that you see the staff uh, have that travel from the different uh, schools. Uh, there are some great ball games, great competition, and you want to make sure that your players are ready for the moment because it's different than anything that these kids have ever experienced. So you prepare for it by doing your day-to-day -day things, uh, playing well, practicing hard, and making sure that uh, uh, the moment doesn't get too big for you. But again, unless you've experienced it and played in it, you don't really get the full effect until those bright lights hit you when you take that court on that Friday night opening night. The Cougar men and women both met Nebraska in the first round, who won both games. The women went on to defeat Ann Arbor in the second round by a score of 91-78, to and the men went on to play Mequon, who prevailed over the Cougars 95-71. to The championship games saw the Concordia Nebraska team win the women's crown in a blowout 89-37 to victory over CUW. The men's championship was won by Concordia Ann Arbor on a buzzer-beating three-point shot by Alec Turner with .5 seconds left over Concordia, Nebraska. The Ann Arbor faithful stormed the court in celebration of an epic victory that will be talked about for a long time. For WCGR News, I'm Brad Russell.